Washington, D.C., this is On the Hill. Doug Christian reporting. The nation's capital reacts with renewed anxiety to an anonymous op-ed by a senior Trump administration official and published in the New York Times. The writer claims to be a part of the resistance working to mitigate and undermine the president's agenda. House Speaker Paul Ryan slams the unknown author of the piece as, quote, a person who obviously is living in dishonesty. He adds, if you're not interested in helping the president, you shouldn't work for the president as far as I'm concerned. Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican from South Carolina, wryly notes, I don't mean to bust the bubble here, but most people in South Carolina are not going to take the op-ed in the New York Times very seriously. Another Republican senator, Bob Corker from Tennessee, confirms, this is what all of us have understood to be the situation from day one. Senator Ed Markey, Democrat from Massachusetts, says that America is an unprecedented territory if a White House staffer feels they have to write an anonymous op-ed to warn the American people about what's going on in the Trump White House. He adds that someone is very afraid that our nation is being damaged on a daily basis. Doug Christian, Washington.